let's look at a few of the uh, common use cases and usage scenarios that ASV uh, can be uh, employed in. So first of all, Bruce was telling us about the extensive onboarding capabilities, right? So um, like larger or even medium-sized companies, uh, you know, school districts, for example, or higher education institutions, uh, they periodically have a need, for example, for like bulk onboarding of devices, right? So there are school districts, for example, that get a couple thousand Chromebooks delivered over the summer, right? And they all need to come uh, onto the network and be, be ready to be provisioned uh, once the school year starts, right? And ASP has a very effective uh, set of tools really to let us deal with it. They have very friendly uh, management workflows to be up by create these keys and bulk provision with the features we just spoke about. Um, guest and BYOD management are very important too. Uh, we have a full set of capabilities for this too. So the captive web portal, for example, that we have in here is very rich. It has highly customizable, highly brandable. So your customers will be able to really set that up, uh, you know, exactly uh, the way they need it, both, you know, visually uh, and, of course, also with the feature set, so the exact onboarding workflows, right? Uh, what kind of, uh, you know, user acceptance policy do they want in there? Do they want employee sponsorship, things like that? Um, the similar tools also work very effectively for BYOD management, you know, for the devices that your contractors and your employees want to bring onto the network. Enterprise authentication, uh, you know, 802.1x certificate are still the gold standard, right, for, for corporate uh, authentication here. And A3 fully supports that with the built-in radius server. Um, IoT onboarding, like we said earlier, is becoming more and more key because we have to be able to accommodate all those IT, uh, sorry, IoT and secure them onto the network. And the built-in uh, device fingerprinting database here and associated device profiling is really neat because it lets us automatically recognize these devices and onboarding them into VLANs with appropriately defined network access rights specifically for these IoT. Billable hotspots, right? Do you have customers that are internet service providers? Uh, you know, are you working in hospitality? Are you an MSP? Uh, like Wood said, we have free integration here with the four major billing providers. It's all built in. EduRoam is, an, is another neat use case. So for um, you know higher education institution, they have uh, the EduRoam um, standard implemented, which allows people that are um, you know on board and authenticated in one university or college, let's say for example to visit uh, other colleges, like, you know, do they just want to take a guest semester there, right? Do they want to do a guest teaching stint, something like this? They will be able to travel to the guest college uh, and, and be automatically authenticated onto the network. So seamless roaming there in between higher education institutions, very neat. And last but not least, of course, underlying all of this is the network access control. That's a feature that's also available fully in A3 and is supported so we can like continuously really assess all the devices as they want to authenticate onto the network, make sure that they have the required level of software patches, OSs, uh, you know, um, malware, uh, uh, sorry, anti-malware software, of course, um, you know, everything that's been uh, defined and required by IT. Uh, 